I tried everything to get business, cold emails, ads, LinkedIn. It was a real uphill struggle. But then I cracked local SEO by understanding how Google Business Profile works. I took a different approach and suddenly my rankings shot up locally. Leads poured in and I even had to change my phone number because it was constantly ringing. And the best part was actually it was quite simple what I did and I'm going to show you in this video exactly what that was. But before we dive straight in, you need to understand that most business owners I speak to don't really understand how it works. So if you've ever struggled with getting local customers and ranking on Google Maps and Google Business Profile, then this video is for you. I'm going to break it down into about five steps so it's nice and simple. And by the end of this, it will all make sense. So step number one, when I was struggling, I thought that Google Ads was going to help. And if you've got a profile, it will suggest you have Google Ads. But actually, they just brought in nothing but bad leads, people that were just wanting to talk about business but not spend any money. And then a friend said to me, why aren't you using Google Business Profile? What are you doing using Google Ads? And the truth of the matter was, as I set up my Google Profile like most other business owners, and then because it didn't bring in leads straight away and customers straight away, I just kind of let it go. But here's then when I realized, looking back on it later, that actually it's a real hidden treasure. I mean, it's free marketing, it's free SEO, it's free advertising, and it goes to right where your customers are searching for your business. So when you put that together, that's quite impressive. And so that was the first step, is I learned to treasure my Google business profile. So now we're ready to go on to step number two. And I have to be honest, the reason why I hadn't used Google business or Google my business was because of the confusion. I mean, I was like, I knew local SEO to some degree, but what was the difference between local SEO, uh, organic SEO, the old style with keywords and links? What was the difference between that and the map pack? Uh, Google Maps itself, putting your business on Google Maps, is that the same as Google Places? They just felt like there were so many different names. Is it Google My Business? Is it Google Business Profile? Is it a Google Business Listing? I found the whole thing quite confusing, if I'm honest, and maybe you find the same. So no wonder people were lost. Okay, so this is what you need to know. Local SEO is, as it says, it's about showing up locally. It doesn't really go beyond 10 miles, 15 kilometers from where you're based. So if you're a shop or a service and you serve customers locally, local SEO is gonna benefit you. Google Maps, well, that's just where customers search. So if they go to Google, if they go to Google search, sometimes a map comes up, but also they might just go to their mobile and look on Google Maps on the app itself. And again, businesses show when they do a search for a business style. And you often hear about people talking with the map pack well, that's just where Google decides to, because a business is being searched for, Google thinks that having a map within the search results would make sense. And so those local businesses are coming up higher than the original organic results that have been around for years. And that's why Google business became so powerful overnight. And this is why it matters so much, because if you've got a local business, so if you're a coffee shop, if you're a dentist, a doctor's, Whatever it is, if you're serving people locally, you're missing out because they are local to you and your results are being shown. But if you're not doing well on Google Business Profile, you won't be in that map pack. And so step number two is about understanding what an amazing marketing tool Google Business Profile is. So now you're ready for step number three. And it's worth noting that not all businesses can benefit from Google Business Profile's power. And it's really all about where your customers are. So if your customers are local to you, then it's a game changer. So think about it from your customer's point of view. If they're searching for a nearby coffee shop, they're not going to want to travel 100 miles to London. If they're searching to get a haircut this afternoon, then they're going to want to go somewhere local to them. So how do you get shown on the Google Maps then that's being shown by Google? Well, you need to be an authority locally. So you need to know what your competition's doing. And if Google views you more trustworthy and more authoritative than local other areas in your competition, other businesses in your competition, then Google's going to start to rank you ahead. And if Google realizes the signals that your business has is positive for customers, you'll continue to rank higher. Google continues to rank 
businesses higher than others depending on the experience that the customers get. And so with over 90% of local traffic coming through Google Business, you understand why it's so valuable. So step three is just checking that where your customers are is where Google Business is going to find them. If you don't have local customers, then you still may need to stick with organic or a combination of the two. Now step number four is my favorite one because this is where I suddenly realized that after pushing and shoving for such a long time with my profile and local SEO, it was now the downhill roll. This is where it really got easy to maintain. And it's because Google rewards momentum. All that effort put in now starts paying off and it's easy to maintain. Because Google's looking for three things. So one is, do you have a complete profile? Have you kept it up to date? Have you filled in all the forms? Google wants you to do that. And there are no shortcuts to that part. Number two is Google's looking for signals of trust from your customers. So do you reply to their reviews? Do you get regular reviews? Do you answer their questions? Are you engaging with your customers? And even your customers will get surveys to fill out for Google to say whether they had a great time with your business. Google's interested in rewarding and ranking businesses that help customers. And number three is your brand authority. So Google will also know what the web says about you. It'll know what reviews you have outside of Google. It'll know what strength your brand is. And that in itself will also help you rank. So when you get those three things right, Google starts pushing you to the top. And if you continue to get those things right, you'll remain at the top and the signals get stronger and it makes it even easier to stay at the top. And this is what people don't understand, but you have this snowball effect that continues, the momentum builds. And that's why you'll find that often the businesses at the top, they're hard to get ahead of if they built up a good momentum. More customers mean more trust. More trust means more customers. And so that's step four really, is build that momentum and let Google continue the momentum for you. Now step number five was props due to desperation. I had to make it work. The reason I had to make it work was I'd run out of ad budget. I had no marketing budget. All I had now was my Google business profile. And so I decided to just be full on at trying to make that work for my business. And it did. And I realized that Google rewards consistency and consistently I added posts and offers. Consistently I put questions and answers. Consistently I got reviews in and then I saw my ranking stay there at number one. And so the inquiries kept coming in. Now I've been teaching that these types of systems can work, but I've noticed many don't have the consistency there. And so 30,000 subscribers on this channel are constantly being reminded of just some of the tips and the things that are currently working today. So don't miss out on those tips. I send them through to your email as well. So you can subscribe down below. You can get an email that comes through that tells you exactly what to do if you want to improve your ranking. And the key thing is, is not to overthink it. It's not that difficult. It's just about staying in there for some time to build consistency. But the key thing is, is you do need to make sure you first of all got an optimized business on Google Maps. If you haven't added it yet to Google Maps, then here's a tutorial that will show you exactly the best way to do it in two minutes. So watch this video next. And if not, then subscribe down below to my email and you'll get the next tip in your inbox.